With the winter over, the park was open again and oblivion was ready. The media hype had been enormous. It had been on the news, it had been advertised on packets of cornflakes, it had even been on Blue Peter. Now the people would find out for themselves what it was really like. from marketing to 16 to 24s that, that they want something that's got edge, something that's cool, something that's fairly hard, uh, you know, visually very impactful. But at the same time, uh, you know, they, they don't want anything that's, that's too extreme. What do you think? Brilliant, superb. All satisfied customers. Let's come together and make them smiling. I haven't got it yet, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you have to join the queue. Well, I know. They're not letting you in the exit. You've got to join the queue with the rest of them. <laughs> Quite right, too. I'll join it later on. Is it a magical ride? Yeah, it's certainly... It's, it's incredible. It's magical, amazing experience. Totally different. And it certainly brings the magic to us, yeah. Yeah. Love it. Oblivion was officially a magical ride, with a magical queue to match. On its opening day, people were willing to wait two hours for a six-second drop. That was truly magical. Within the crowd, a lone voice was heard to say, What's all the fuss about? It's just a roller coaster ride with a big drop. It's not really magical. But everyone ignored him and carried on enjoying themselves. They wanted to believe in the magic and were determined to ride happily ever after. In its first season, Oblivion broke all records for a British roller coaster. On busy days, it was processing 1,800 people an hour. Andy has ridden it more than anyone. The threatening letters have stopped, but the identity of the wooden spectre remains a mystery. Stuart is still working at the Magic Factory and has been promoted to stock supervisor. Kathy has swapped her donuts for files and become a magical administration assistant. Frank left Alton Towers and got a job delivering fruit and veg. Dawn was not asked back. She was told she had a timekeeping problem. But when you're crying, 
Following the success of Oblivion, Pearson's decided to sell its theme parks. Alton Towers has just been bought by an international investment bank. Smiles with you.